Hey guys, welcome back to Edge 3D CGI. My name is Laz, and in this quick tutorial, we're going to go through how to create a simple wine glass using curves. So as you can see, this is the um, uh, the model that I just created really quickly. As you can see, it's not that nice, but it's pretty good for a five-minute job. So the first thing you're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and delete this and then bring in my reference. As you can tell, I just saved it as a layer and you can bring in your reference by going to your side view. And then if you are a beginner, you can go to image plane, import image plane, and then um, select the picture that you want. So I just grabbed one, um, a simple one, and you're going to go ahead and go to create and then go to create CV curve tool. So you're going to use this tool uh, to go ahead and go through the outline of the glass if you never used it before. You're going to go ahead and uh, start right here in the middle. And you're just going to quickly click away, okay? So you don't have to be really precise at this moment in time. You can always go ahead and adjust this um, later on. So I'm just going to go ahead and click away and hopefully it's not going to turn out that bad and as you can see I'm being really rough um, I'm not spending too much time on this at the moment um, we can always go back and adjust this further down the line and also you want to avoid putting in too many points at this point uh, so you don't want to clutter up your mesh with all these points because you might have to go back and remove them later on so once we get up to the top here I'll go ahead and add in a few more um, points just to make sure that this is going to be fairly smooth. And if you make a mistake, you can use backspace or control Z to undo. And I'm going to carry on coming down here on the inside of the glass and slowly I'm going to start getting a little bit, um, give it some more thickness. Um, so it will have some thickness to it, as you can see. So we are nearly there. And there we go. So I'm gonna go through it right here and back to the grid. So once we have that, we can press enter uh, to finish off the curve. And if you right click and go to control vertex, uh, you can go ahead and adjust some of these points if you want with the move tool. So if, if let's say one of them is really off, you can go ahead and just push them around, okay? So I'm not going to go ahead and do that, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is the last point, so this one, I'm going to go ahead and click on that axis and hold down X to go ahead and um, snap it to the grid, but make sure that you click this, otherwise it will snap up. Okay, and it still snaps up, but that's fine. So what we're going to do is snap it up to the, um, snap it right there to the grid. And I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. So I'm just going to come down, select that one, select that axis. Now hold down X to snap it to make sure that it's lined up with the grid. Okay, so now I'm going to come out to my perspective mode. Go ahead and hide my reference. And here is our curve. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and select your curve. And then go to surface tab. And then go to surfaces and hit revolve. And there's your glass, okay? Now what you can still do is because we haven't deleted the history, you can go ahead and adjust the curve. So if I go to, um, if I go back to my curve point and if I select a point, if I just hide a mesh for now, then we'll add it to a new layer. And if I just go back to a control vertex and if I drag that out, like so, turn back on my layer, as you can see, I can still go ahead and adjust my mesh like so. So now what you want to do once you delete, uh, once you are happy with your result, you can go ahead and select it and go to edit, delete all by type and delete your history. And then you can go ahead and delete your curve. Now, the next thing that you can do uh, to go ahead to smooth this out a little bit more, we can go ahead and turn this into a, um, a polygon. So what we're going to do is go to modify and then go to convert and I'm first going to go ahead and do um, NURBS to subdiv and then we can go ahead and go back to modify convert and subdivision to polygons okay and now we got our mesh I can go ahead and smooth it and if I'm not happy with the smoothness 
uh, we can always go back and adjust some points and we can also go ahead and go to polygons and then go to mesh go smooth bump up the res to about three and then you can go ahead and smooth it and you should get a nice smooth result a result once you go ahead and um, clean these up okay so this is how you create a glass in less than five minutes probably a couple of minutes you can use this technique to create um, wine bottles and so on really quickly and really efficiently okay so i hope you guys enjoy this quick tip or tutorial and i'll see you guys in our future tutorials